The year is 2018. The European Parliament, in fear of slowing the, and I quote, development of innovative uses of new technologies due to lack of trust in regulation for personal data, end quote, collection and administration, launches the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, initiative in short. And then panic ensues. Everyone's losing their <laughs> What do I do? So I can't even collect the emails of visitors of my e-commerce store? How will I send my marketing emails now? Chill. It was just an exaggeration. Let's get back to the current year and see how easy GDPR implementation actually is. First off, what is GDPR? The General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, is a regulation in EU law on data protection and privacy. It's designed to give individuals more control over their personal data and to ensure businesses are handling this data responsibly. In terms of e-commerce, here are the key aspects. Number one, get consent. You can proceed as usual if the user consented to receiving your messages. Without explicit consent, you cannot send them marketing materials or advertisements. That's why importing a contact list from some shady site or a telegram channel is not only super ineffective, but it could also be illegal. Number two, provide adequate protection. If a user agrees to let you store and use their personal data, like for personalized marketing, you have to make sure that data is well protected. GDPR defines personal data pretty broadly. It's anything that can identify someone like name, physical address, demographic data, age, location, etc., email address, or an IP address. Companies handling lots of personal data need a data protection officer, or a DPO, to ensure security. Smaller e-commerce stores might not need a DPO, but it's still important to have someone in charge of data protection. Number three, delete, correct, or restrict when asked. If a user asks you to delete, correct, or restrict their personal data, act quickly. GDPR ensures that European citizens have more control over how their data is used. So if someone from the EU requests changes to their data, it's best to do it promptly to stay compliant and worry-free under GDPR. Non-compliance could lead to quite significant fines, so it's better not to dance on thin ice with this one. And number four, ensure easy unsubscribes. This part requires the user to be able to unsubscribe from the email list as easily as it was for them to subscribe to one. That's why every email you send out must include an unsubscribe link at the bottom of it. And don't worry, Omnisend includes them automatically. So why does it matter? Compliance isn't just about avoiding hefty fines, although trust me, those can be substantial. It's also about building trust with your customers and showing that you respect their privacy and data. Now let's see how Omnisend makes GDPR compliance easy with our sign-up forms. We'll walk through creating a GDPR compliant form step by step. So first log into your Omnisend account and head to the sign-up form section. Click on create form and let's select one of the templates. For example, this one. Now the key to GDPR compliance is transparency and consent. In Omnisend, you can easily add the necessary fields to ensure this. Let's add a checkbox for consent. So this would be the legal consent block. In this case, this is a multi-step form. So let's go to step two where we actually ask the user for its email and let's add the legal consent box. Make sure to select the GDPR compliance over here and you would have to include your privacy policy link right over here. Omnisend.com slash privacy policy, for example. So in this case, the user would have to enter the email and actually select the checkbox and then submit the form to confirm their subscription. This is only really necessary for EU citizens, but when you leave a form up, you don't really know if the user is coming from the EU, US, Canada, Indonesia, or anywhere else in the world. So it's better to just leave it there. Oh, and by the way, in the privacy policy, make sure to notify what you are going to use this information for. If it's the email you're collecting, what is this email going to be used for? In this case, most likely email marketing. If you're collecting birthday data, also make sure to include that it will be used for email marketing automation, for example, birthday automation, where you would offer a discount or some sort of special deal for your customers on their birthday. And additionally, for added compliance, enable the double opt-in feature. This sends a confirmation email to new subscribers, ensuring they really want to subscribe to your emails. To do this, let's go over here. Let's click on audience management and enable the double opt-in option. You can additionally set up the email that will be sent out. You can preview it. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to be sent to the customer who enters their email address and then said email address receives this email confirming their subscription with a unique URL. And once we're done, we can just enable the form and watch these customers roll in.
And there you go, it's that easy. Now, finally, let's go over some common myths and misconceptions about GDPR. GDPR only applies to EU companies. Nope, this one's pretty common, but this regulation applies globally. Just because this act was enforced regarding EU citizens, it still applies to every other country worldwide processing EU citizens' data. GDPR only affects large companies. Nah, GDPR applies to organizations of all sizes that process the personal data of EU residents. Small and medium-sized enterprises must also comply. To expand on this a bit, if your company falls under one of these criteria, you have to comply. If your company is employing more than 250 people, processing your company carries out is likely to result in a risk to the rights and freedoms of data subjects. The processing is not occasional. Processing includes special categories of data as referred to in Article 9.1 or personal data relating to criminal convictions and offenses referred to in Article 10. So it's safer to assume that pretty much every company has to comply, mostly because of the second point. GDPR prohibits all processing of personal data. Nuh-uh. GDPR sets out conditions and guidelines for for lawful processing of personal data to protect individuals' privacy, not to prohibit data processing altogether. Feel free to send out that hottest deals campaign you were preparing for the whole month, as long as your audience gave consent to receiving that. And that's it. Thank you for attending my TED Talk. And remember, this isn't just about following the rules. It's about showing your customers you care about their data and privacy. People putting their trust in you is a really powerful thing, which you wouldn't want to lose, right? Now sit back, relax, and watch those subscribers roll it. With the help of OmniSend, of course. What's that? Oh, don't forget to plug our channel. Please let them know to subscribe to that. Oh yeah, sub subscribe to our channel, please. Yeah, and make sure to sign up. Oh, and sign up to get started for free on Omnison.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah.